Hi, I'm Winona Ryder, and I'm gonna answer some trivia questions about myself. Let's see how I do. Where was I born? I was born in a farmhouse in Winona, Minnesota. That's true. And I was what they called a shoelace baby. I was a little early and back in 71, what you did is you boiled a shoelace to tie off the umbilical cord. So that's some trivia. Not a lot of people know that. When is my birthday? October 29th, 1971. I have the same birthday as Fanny Bryce and Kate Jackson, according to the almanac I grew up with. What did I want to be when I was younger? I think I wanted to be a writer because that's, but my parents are writers and they're incredible writers. And so I wanted to be like them and I loved to read. And so I think that was sort of what I was hoping to do. Winona, you know the internet says that you wanted to be a competitive skateboarder. Oh, well, I did go through that stage. I definitely, I was on a skate team, believe it or not. I knew that I didn't have what it took to skate professionally, but I, I was in that scene and I did see some of the great skaters, meaning I was in the same auditorium as them. According to IMDB, how many roles have I had? I have no idea. Do they count everything? Oh God, I, I don't know. 68, wow. How many times have I worked with Tim Burton? Beetlejuice? Edward Scissorhands, Frank and Weenie, help me out guys. Um, I've, I did a video with him for the, the band The Killers. Am I missing something really big? It's an absolute dream. He's just one of my favorite people. And I also credit him with giving me a career. He's just the best. I, I loved him. What year was I nominated for a Grammy? Oh. I know this. I was nominated for reading Anne Frank, a book, the unabridged Anne Frank book on tape. And I'm like, they have to give it to me. I mean, I'm, it wasn't televised. It wasn't the televised part of the Grammys. And I wasn't even invited, but I was sh sure I was gonna win. I thought I was a shoe in And I was like, that is so cool. I could be like a Grammy winner and I lost to Patrick Stewart reading Little Red Riding Hood. He robbed me of my Grammy. Damn you, Patrick. <laughs> Wait, what year was it though? Oh, what year was it? Yeah. Oh, that was the question. Oh, shoot, I was sorry. Oh, I don't know. The 90s? Oh, okay. I still have a big chip on my shoulder about that. How many times have I played a character named Charlotte? Mermaids. Charlotte again in another movie that I don't, nobody saw. The, so Charlotte and Mermaids, Charlotte and Autumn in New York. Oh! And then Charlotte yes. in The Last Word. I just woke up really <laughs> times, I, three times. Yeah, that's a great name. Oh, how many times do I say Will in Stranger Things season one? I'm sorry, I am just failing this test, right? I, I, have no idea. It was a lot, and I think it probably drove some people crazy. Is there a person that counts these these things? Who? Who is the person that counts how many times I say will? Every scene, probably. Our record said 22. Oh, that's, that's nothing. That could have been like, he was, we were a regular family and he wasn't missing, and I would have said it that many times, right? Like, I thought it was gonna be like, hundreds or something, but I think I compensated with the, where is my boy? Where is my son? How many times have I sung in a movie? I did sing a song in Frank and Weenie as like a nine-year-old girl with not a great voice. That was the only time like I recorded a song with Danny Elfman. And so are we talking about like sung along to stuff in movies? How many times do you actually sing out loud in the you? Oh. Oh my gosh. Well, Beetlejuice? No, but I'm mouthing 
just a shake, shake, shake Sonora. The 10, I do. You missed it. <laughs> we did a whole like musical number. I had to go to a recording studio and sing. It was like a ridiculous song. I sing like a hymn in square dance. It's Girl Interrupted and Little Women. Oh, yes. D downtown, Girl Interrupted. Duh. Because I had to learn that on guitar. And then I was really upset because they didn't, you didn't see my fingers doing the right chords. How many movies have I done with Keanu Reeves? Four, and hopefully many more. We did get married, you know, on Dracula. It was on Valentine's Day, and it was a real priest, and he pronounced us, my wife, and we kissed, and I think that's like, it's in some way that is official. Yeah. How many movies have I had blonde hair in? Well, Edward Scissorhands, obviously. Deeds? Mr. Yeah. Deeds? Yeah. They put some like clips in and I lightened my hair. Well, I was a blonde kid. My hair isn't as dark as people think. <laughs> I just have always like had it dark. It just kind of stuck. In the Heather's movie poster, what color skirt am I wearing? Blue. I love that movie. Love that movie. And yeah, I'm wearing a blue skirt and like a black top and I'm like reaching for a Christian. Ooh, which side of my face is featured in the movie poster for Girl Interrupted? Okay, is this if you're looking at it or if you're the poster? This is if you're the poster. I think it's this side. My left side? If you're the poster. Yeah, that is my right side. That picture was taken of me by one of my best friends, Suzanne Tenner, who was also the still photographer on the movie and a lot of amazing movies. And that picture was taken of me while I was, when I was like much younger, it wasn't actually from the movie. Where was this red carpet look? This was at the Golden Globes, the early nineties. I was there for Age of Innocence and I'd never been and I just went and I bought that dress. I didn't know like that it, how fancy it was. Where was this red carpet look? Okay, <clears throat> this was for an, I think it was like an AFI event honoring Scorsese. And it was such a beautiful dress, I still have it. And it was like one of the first times I wore a color. Cause if you'll notice, I wear black a lot. <laughs> Which look did I wear once in 1991 and again in 2016 for the Patterson premiere? Oh, well, first of all, yes, it's my Tom Waits t-shirt. I babysat Tom's kids and when he was doing a play and he came home and he didn't have cash and he gave me this t-shirt and I'm like, that is plenty. My Lord and Master, <laughs> I love him so much. So I wore that shirt all the time, but I did wear it to the premiere of The Commitments. Then I wore the same t-shirt to the Patterson premiere. And I almost wore it yesterday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can catch season four of Stranger Things on Netflix 